All right, holy crap, I have fallen so deep into the freelance world that I haven't even had a moment to think about making a YouTube video. I can't really talk about it. It's not like they told me not to talk about it, but at the same time, I was like, anyways, all that to say, I've been freaking busy. I pretty much wake up, walk the dog, straight to work, which is great. Honestly, like a month ago, I was doing zero freelance and now I am up to my neck in freelance. But I've quickly realized that the freelance world is a feast, famine sort of thing. One month, you're gonna be super, super busy. Next month, you're gonna have nothing to do and it's gonna be rough. But with all this freelance work that I've been doing, it's kind of given me a fresh insight into what life is like as a freelancer. And in this video specifically, I wanna talk about how to make your freelance edits engaging. How to take your boring linear edit and make it more visually interesting. So let's take a look at an edit I did and how I took it to the next level. Before we do that, a word from our sponsor. Envato Elements is a one-stop shop for all your creative needs. I literally use this on almost every single freelance job that I do. I'm not even kidding, for the past year, Envato Elements has saved my butt. They have literally millions of high quality assets for you to download anything from photos, to stock video, to video templates, to fonts, to audio, sound effects, graphics, WordPress templates. And you can get all of this 50% off with an annual subscription of $16.50 a month. I have on honestly been using it for the past year and it's amazing. And additionally, I'm gonna show you how I used their content in this video. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here's the story. A company approached me and they were looking for a video that they can promote on Facebook to promote their service. It's an explainer video. It needs to get the message across of what their service does. This particular service is an iPhone app that helps you invest your money off like your everyday purchases and it's targeted for students to help them pay off their student loans. So I knew right away this was gonna be posted on Facebook with some ad money behind it it needs to be punchy and engaging. So by nature, I knew the first thing I wanted to do was include some visual effects in this edit. And recently I've been very interested in doing like 3D stuff. So let's take a look at the first segment of this video. Paid app turns your everyday purchases into a digital piggy bank to pay off your student loans. Where did my drink go? So the number one method I use to make my videos stand out is using visual effects. Now I'm not necessarily suggesting you should go and learn a 3D software, but if you've got the time, it is totally worth it. Let's just do a quick breakdown here. So I have a coffee cup, I hold it up, and then I have Claire's hand come in, pull it out. I try and stay as still as possible as she moves it. And there is a jump cut between the two shots. And I'm covering that up with our VFX. And on top of that, right on the cut, I go straight into motion. And that just kind of like helps hide the jump cut. It's really not that hard. I didn't put in a ton of effort trying to get a perfect jump cut. In this case, I knew that there was going to be stuff in front of me that was going to cover up the jump cut. And I think that the result is pretty good. So already in the first five seconds, we have some visual effects to help catch the audience's attention. And then followed by a joke to help build some charisma. Now, when it came to the piggy bank thing, I went through multiple revisions of trying to figure out the best look. At one point, I was going to have the piggy bank on the table and it opened up on the side and coins were gonna fill in, but it just, I didn't really like the look that I was getting. Which then led me to this idea of like a floating virtual like hologram piggy bank, uh, which is what I ended up like settling on. Unfortunately, I planned to actually do a little 3D breakdown um, of my edit here, but I recently changed drivers to game drivers instead of studio drivers, and Cinema 4D doesn't like that. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna skip this segment. It's kind of advanced anyways, whatever. So from this point on, I need to explain the service and what it does. From my experience, the best way to get that message across is with a story. I have over $25,000 worth of student debt, but I didn't go to school. My wife did. Thanks to PayDap, we can both contribute to her student loans using the crowdsourcing features. Let me explain. So here I'm going to introduce that I have $25,000 worth of student debt. But it's not my debt, it's my wife's debt. And if you've never heard of this thing called marriage, that's how it works. Now for the rest of this video, I know there's a lot of information that I need to communicate. And the best way to keep the audience's attention through that information is to use a lot of visual effects. Paid app works in four different ways. The first one, which I've already mentioned, the roundup feature. With everyday purchases, it'll round up and add that to your virtual piggy bank. So an easy one is to use animated titles. In this case, I am using the titles that I created for Maddie Hapoya's uh, title pack. Well, I'll put a link down below. This neon one is my favorite. And then of course in the background there we have those coins. Let's talk about that. On literally every single freelance job when I need visuals to help tie the story together, the first thing I do is I go to Envato Elements. And when I get here I just type in a word that relates to what's going on in my video. So in this case it was like money. 
so I could try and incorporate some stock videos, uh, some graphics, 3D objects, which is what we actually went with. Here is the exact gold coin that I used. Cool thing is you can view it in 3D and rotate it around to get whatever angle you want and then just export that as a PNG. That way you don't have to deal with like any 3D software. It can be really good if you just need a quick 3D object for your edit. So back to our edit, I took that clip of me talking about the roundup feature, threw it into After Effects, which if you didn't know, you can right click on your clip here and just go replace with After Effects composition. I always recommend duplicating your clip before you send it to After Effects. That way you kind of have a backup you can uh, cut back to if you need it. So here in After Effects, pretty simple. I just animated uh, the coins coming down and the fourth coin coming in from the right side um, and then I rotoscoped myself back on top of the coins to create some depth. I just animated one coin, duplicated it, and then offset the times um, and I'm using the just position Y to do that. Uh, and then of course on the green coin I am using position X and then I also changed the hue on that fourth coin just to show that it's like different from the other coins. And in this edit I was really liking the style of the like foreground and background uh, so I ended up just running with that with the rest of the video, doing that on every shot. Now, one quick note, I was very aware of the mess in the background, um, but completely honest, sometimes turning the camera on is so difficult that whatever other problems you have around you are just meaningless in comparison to the challenge of turning on the camera and shooting a video of yourself. I, I realize that looking now, how messy it is, but at the time, turning the camera on was my main focus. It's like. It's not easy sometimes. When you own a dog, you have to clean the floor like every single day and you just get used to like bones and fluff being on the ground. <laughs> the second way is cashback. You can find exclusive offers at participating businesses to get cashback rewards towards your student loans. And again here, I used some stock video from Envato Elements. Again, just typed in money on stock videos and picked one that I thought could fit well in the edit. So again, sourcing visual assets that help tell your story are super handy. And I genuinely use Envato Elements for like literally everything. Moving on to the next segment, I wanted to use familiar visuals. The third way is crowdsourcing. You can invite your family, your friends, your loved ones, your nemesises, your enemies, whoever you want to help participate in your virtual piggy bank. Their purchases can be your student loan payments. Something like emojis or even memes, anything that can be like generally recognizable can be a great way to help engage your viewers. And if you can sneak jokes into your videos, that's gonna help a lot as well. Pretty similar to the coins, I just keyframed the position up and added like a glow backdrop to them. Nothing too complicated there, just some keyframes on some PNGs. If you're curious how I rotoscoped myself into the foreground, um, I have two videos that I've done on this topic. One of them uses a web tool uh, where you can just like one click rotoscope. Uh, the second one uses After Effects Rotobrush 2.0, which is no longer in beta, it is an official release now. It's really good. That's what I used in this video. If if you're interested, I will leave links in the description. And lastly, my personal favorite, investments. PayDap has professional investors that will invest your money for you so you don't have to worry about it. Let your money make you money. So if you're like me and you have student loans or secondhand student loans, download the PayDap. You can find it in the App Store and the Google Play Store. And then of course, with a call to action, download their app. For little like quick animations like this, I love to use this plugin called Film Impact. It's really good. They make some of the best Premiere plugins. I don't know why other people can't make plugins as good as them, but their Push Impact, which is free by the way, just super helpful. I use it all the time. I, at one point I had it as like my default transition, like Control T. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, if I've missed anything or I've rushed over something too quickly, please let me know in the comments down below and I will try and respond uh, to your comments. If I'm doing like a project breakdown, sometimes I'm not sure if I'm going too deep or if it's like too shallow. On that note, thank you to Envato Elements for sponsoring this video. Cool, well, hopefully this was helpful. If you're not part of our Discord channel, consider joining, link in the description. I'll see you next time.